To tie the figure eight knot, we first make an overhand loop. Do this by taking the running end over the standing end, or the blue portion of the orange. Now go behind the orange standing portion and back through the loop. This is where most people mess up. If you just go through the loop, you're making an overhand knot. It's very important to match what you saw. The figure eight can be used as a stopper knot by sailors and mountain climbers if you tighten it down, but if you leave it loose, it's a really nice decorative knot for bracelets, necklaces, or anything you might be putting together. For me, the biggest reason to learn the figure eight knot is to use it as a lead-in to some upcoming videos, the figure eight follow-through and the figure eight loop, two knots I actually do use quite a lot. Please like and share with a friend. Stay safe out there, everyone. To start the marlin spike, we're first going to form an overhand loop. Reach your fingers through the overhand loop and pull a bite. A bite is just when the two ends don't cross like with a loop. Now put your stick through and pull it all tight or dress the knot. The marlin spike's real strength is in how easy it unties and how well it holds onto a toggle. You can use this combination of hitch and toggle to hang up your gear, to tie up hammocks, to make a handle if you need to really pull on lashings or to drag a giant log using the timber hitch. It also makes a really great rope ladder. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and share with a friend. Stay safe out there everybody.